Venera 9 Russian, Venera minus 9 meaning Venus 9, manufacturer's designation, 4V1 No. 660, was a Soviet unmanned space mission to Venus. It consisted of an orbiter and a lander. It was launched on June 8, 1975, at 2 hours 38 minutes and 0 seconds coordinated universal time and had a mass of 4,936 kg 10,882 pounds. The orbiter was the first spacecraft to orbit Venus, while the lander was the first to return images from the surface of another planet. Topic: <inaudible> Orbiter. The orbiter entered Venus orbit on October 20, 1975. Its mission was to act as a communications relay for the lander and to explore cloud layers and atmospheric parameters with several instruments and experiments. It performed 17 survey missions from October 26, 1975 to December 25, 1975. The orbiter consisted of a cylinder with two solar panel wings and a high-gain parabolic antenna attached to the curved surface. A bell-shaped unit holding propulsion systems was attached to the bottom of the cylinder, and mounted on top was a 2.4 meters (7.9 feet) sphere which held the lander. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Orbiter design. The instruments comprising the orbiter included 1.6 to 2. 8 micrometers IR spectrometer 8 to 28 micrometers IR radiometer 352 nanometers UV photometer 2 photopolarimeters 335 to 800 nanometers 300 to 800 nanometers spectrometer Lyman alpha alpha HD spectrometer B static radar mapping CM, DM radio occultations Triaxial magnetometer 345 to 380 nanometers UV camera 355 to 445 nanometers camera 6 electrostatic analyzers 2 modulation ion traps Low energy proton alpha detector Low energy electron detector Three semiconductor counters, two gas discharge counters, Cherenkov detector. Topic <inaudible> Lander. <inaudible> the lander was encased in a spherical shell before landing to help protect it from the heat of entry as it slowed from 10.7 kilometers per second to 150 meters per second. This sphere was then separated with explosive bolts and a three-domed parachute was deployed which slowed the lander further to 50 meters per second at an altitude of 63 kilometers above the planet. The descent through the cloud layer took about 20 minutes, during which time the lander took measurements of the atmosphere and radioed the information to the orbiter. To minimize lander damage in the hot atmosphere, the parachute was released at an altitude of 50 km, and the ring-shaped aerodynamic shield provided braking. The Venusian atmosphere is so dense near the surface that this shield provided a descent rate of 7 m per second as the lander touched down. The landing device, a hollow ring surrounding the lower part of the lander, was partly crushed upon touchdown to take up most of the landing impact. On October 20, 1975, the lander spacecraft separated from the orbiter, and landing was made with the Sun near Zenith at 5:13 Coordinated Universal Time on October 22. Venera 9 landed within a 150 kilometers 93 miles radius of 31.01 degrees north 291.64 degrees east 31.01 291.64 near Beta Regio on a steep 20 degrees slope covered with boulders suspected to be the slope of the tectonic rift valley Ikalu Chasma. 
The entry sphere weighed 1,560 kg 3,440 and the surface payload was 660 kg 1,455 It was the first spacecraft to return an image from the surface of another planet. Many of the instruments began working immediately after touchdown and the cameras were operational two minutes later. These instruments revealed a smooth surface with numerous stones. The lander measured a light level of 14,000 lux, similar to that of Earth in full daylight but no direct sunshine. A system of circulating fluid was used to distribute the heat load. This system, plus pre cooling prior to entry, permitted operation of the lander for 53 minutes after landing, at which time radio contact with the orbiter was lost as the orbiter moved out of radio range. During descent, heat dissipation and deceleration were accomplished sequentially by protective hemispheric shells, three parachutes, a disc-shaped drag brake, and a compressible, metal, donut-shaped landing cushion. The landing was about 2,200 km 1, miles from the Venera 10 landing site. Venera 9 measured clouds that were 30 to 40 kilometers 19 to 25 miles thick with bases at 30 to 35 kilometers 19 to 22 miles altitude. It also measured atmospheric chemicals including hydrochloric acid, hydrofluoric acid, bromine and iodine. Other measurements included surface pressure of about 9,100 kilopascals, 90 atmospheres, temperature of 485 degrees Celsius, 905 degrees Fahrenheit, and surface light levels comparable to those at Earth mid-latitudes on a cloudy summer day. Venera 9 was the first probe to send back black and white television pictures from the Venusian surface showing no shadows, no apparent dust in the air, and a variety of 30 to 40 cm rocks which were not eroded. Planned 360-degree panoramic pictures could not be taken because one of two camera lens covers failed to come off, limiting pictures to 180 degrees. This failure recurred with Venera 10. Topic. Lander payload The lander payload was as follows Temperature and pressure sensors Accelerometer Visible, IR photometer, IOV-75 Backscatter and multi-angle nephilometers, MNV-75 P11 mass spectrometer, MAV-75 Panoramic telephotometers 2, with lamps Anemometer, ISV-75 Gamma-ray spectrometer, GS-12V Gamma-ray densitometer, RP-75 See also List of missions to Venus Timeline of artificial satellites and space probes